In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own ink brushes in Procreate. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video I'm going to do some inks because I'm participating in Inktober 2016. And you can see all my uh, Inktober drawings when you go to the playlist and I'll leave a link in the description box down below or you can um, press on the I and then you go straight to uh, that playlist. I wanted to explore uh, different ways of inking. So I started out with an old uh, fountain pen I found. And the week after that, I wanted to try out some other drawing apps because I usually draw in Procreate. And last week I did some inks with brush pens and even a crow quill pen. Now I'm back to drawing on Procreate. So this week it will be seven drawings. We'll do everything in Procreate. But the nice thing about Procreate is that you can create your own brushes. So I'm going to create some brushes that will be a little bit the same like the, the brushes I've worked on on paper. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own ink brushes in Procreate. So let's get to the video. If you want to create a new brush in Procreate, you need to select the brush icon. And then on top, you see a plus sign in the brushes panel. When you press on that, you can create a new brush. But I already selected um, a new group because these are the groups and each group has uh, around eight brushes in it. And you can also create your own uh, group. And I created Stave Inks. And here I'm going to uh, make a new brush. And you just have to press on the plus sign and then you have a new brush. And the brushes consist of a shape and a grain. And it has the shape source and the shape grain. So first we're going to select the shape and you just have to press on um, the image and then you can choose a shape from your photos library or even the pro library. And in the pro library are all of the grains and also the shapes. I'm going to uh, select a, a different shape because I need something more of a, a structured brush. So I'm going to uh, select flakes. Now we're going to select the grain. And the grain uh, is most of the time you can find them in your pro library or you can, you know, upload your own grain and import it from the cloud or from your photos library on your iPad. Now I'm going to use uh, some existing grains that are in the pro library and you have to scroll way down because first it starts with the shapes and then it starts to have the, the grains and let me select a nice one. I like this paper mush a lot. So first just test, you can test it here on your paper or you can test it in the panel. And this isn't really a, a very nice brush, because you can select a lot of different things, like the stroke spacing, and I'm not gonna touch those. And what I sometimes do is, if I find a brush that I really like, so I created a, another brush here that's Stave Ink 1, and I'm just going to show you the source of it. And that's a different shape source. And I downloaded these from the Pro Library that's uh, already in Procreate. And what you can do with it, when you tap with two fingers on it, you can inverse the image. So everything that's white will show and everything that's black it won't show because if you draw with it you can you know i'm going to select the black color and this has a nice grain to it and i actually duplicate it 
my Stave ink brush because I liked the tapering of the brush and it reacts really like uh, an ink brush. And when you tap with two fingers on the shape source, it will be the reverse of it. So it will show the entire shape. And sometimes you don't want that because I need the structure of the brush. So I have to tap with two fingers on it again. And you can also uh, adjust the rotation by 45 increments, 45 degrees. And now it's an up brush. It just depends on, and you can also change it when you're just uh, doing your inks. I liked it this way. And you can also um, rotate your grain source, but uh, the grain source is the same when you, you know, rotate it like this, it doesn't really matter. And the great thing about this is that you can create your own brushes. And what I test out is uh, also the tilt of your uh, pencil. And when you go to pencil, the pencil tab, you can adjust by tilt, the, the opacity of your tilt and the angle. And when it's 100%, it's very aggressive. So now I have the tilt is already in place. So I really need to draw up, you know, to have the, the, the normal brush. And when you tilt, so this is a little bit too strong. So I'm also going to, uh, you know, put it around 12%. The opacity, uh, you can also change with uh, the sliders up here. So this is the, the brush I have created. And I'm going to do my um, Inktober drawing with it. And I'm also going to import a piece of paper. And I'm first going to take a picture of the paper because I want it to be a little bit the same like the drawing I did on October 21, so yesterday. And I want that same paper as a structure. So this is the drawing I did yesterday. And uh, I did it with uh, a normal pen. And what I really liked about this is that the, the structure of the paper was sh showing through and you can play around with that. And for this drawing, I want to do uh, um, a similar uh, drawing, but I'm going to do it on Procreate. So I want the structure of that paper. So I'm going to select a, a clean uh, piece of paper and I'm just going to take a picture of it. And when you do that, I'm just going to do that with my iPhone. And you have to be sure that you're really on top of it. And now the lighting is a little bit too strong. So I'm going to adjust the lighting a little bit to get more of a structure. And now I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm going to send this to my iPad. And great thing when you work with iPad is that you can um, you need some uh, Wi-Fi for that. And here's the picture I took. You can send it to your iPad through AirDrop. And they need to be connected. So you first needs to show that they're connected and now it's not, or well, here's my iPad, select it. So now sending it to AirDrop and here I have my picture and I'm going to import this picture into Procreate and I'm going to create a new file. So with the plus sign and I want it to be in 4K 16 by nine. And to import um, a drawing, you have to uh, insert it. So press on insert, image, import image, go to your photos library, 
camera roll and here you have it and now you can skate it up skate it up so now you have your paper on the lowest level and i'm going to draw a first sketch on top of that and i'm going to do all of my layers to set it to multiply and in that way the structure of the paper will shine through um, the drawings you're doing so now i'm going to ink it with uh, stave ink uh, one and i'm first going to select a light gray color I'm also recording everything uh, on my Mac and you can do that by plugging in your lightning cable to your Mac and then you can record everything uh, in QuickTime. And I'll uh, show you uh, a link to a video where I explain how to do that. So first I'm going to uh, sketch and I'm going to use the tilt function first and I'm on a separate layer now so I'm going to uh, first do the sketch in grace and the great thing of course when you draw in um, procreate or digitally is that you have some redos and you can do some other things with it as well so I'm just going to sketch copy the line because uh, he is in all of my Inktober drawings and it's a nice way to practice the character and get to know him a little bit better and great thing about this is that you know you can explore the character a little bit more after that after Inktober I will um, begin with the the story of Gabby the Lion and I'll do uh, the entire picture book in procreate and now i'm just sketching uh, the character and this is um day 22 and i'm following the prompt list of inktober and um the prompt list um, topic is small so i'm going to uh, select uh, this drawing and you can also uh, make some selections if you want with the selection tool and then throw the rest away and I'm just going to select well there's still some mess up here just going to select uh, Kabi and making really big because he is going to be very big but he is looking at something small and nice about this is that you can adjust the transparency of your uh, layer by pressing with two fingers on your layer and then you can adjust the opacity I'm going to do a uh, next layer and that's going to be in front of the drawing and it's really nice you know to have this brush with uh, a little bit of a structure so you can uh, already uh, sketch with it and already get the feel of the drawing you're about to do and I'm just going to uh, use the uh, tilt you know, to get a little bit more of a structure and you can also see what the, the brush is doing it has a bit of a structure in it as well so I'm going to draw uh, some branches and it's going to be a, an insect I'm not quite sure what insect and the nice thing about Procreate is that you can also record everything you're doing and that's by default and then you can export it as a video so I'm going to do this sketch, do a little bit of a time lapse because uh, it's really about the inking and not about the sketch. So I'll be back with you when I start doing the inks.
For the story of Copy the Line, I was looking for an insect that is native to Tanzania because the story will take place in Tanzania near Lake Manjara. And I searched the internet and I found this interesting insect. And it is a, a grasshopper, I think. And it's called the Sabalius Otholmicus, or the blue legged sylvan cathedid. And I really like the design of the character, so I used it in this illustration. And the structure of the brush is uh, really working good. It's uh, a little bit faint, but it's different than the other brushes I've made. They're more like when you ink with a crow quill pen. And this has a little bit more of a structure to it, so you can also use it when you have a bigger brush to do some shading in inks. Or you can even use it as a, a pencil because it has the same structure and uh, the brush is also tapered. So when you press a little bit harder, you get a thicker line. So it's great to do thick and thins in your inks and still have the structure of a, a sort of a, a dry brush. And it looks quite organic with uh, the structure of the paper in the back and I set the layer of the inks I'm doing to uh, multiply so that you can also have the structure of the paper underneath. And that makes it a little bit more organic and real. And I didn't really adjust the, the size of the brush. I'm just using uh, the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil and when you tilt it you can do bigger parts because uh, in the tilt there is a bigger brush. It's still the same brush but when you tilt your Apple Pencil you can do bigger chunks of your inks. And I'm now doing the highlights with the same brush on a separate layer and um, I have set it to normal so it's more opaque. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also see all my Inktober drawings on my Instagram and my Instagram account is Stave Draws and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.